G'day, welcome to Pay It Forward. Today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this anime style girly cushion cover. It's a really, really fun project to make because you can make it up as a blonde, as a brunette or a redhead, whichever eye colour you like. So if you'd like to make it along with me, click on the link in the description below. You can download your free PDF pattern templates, print them out and we can get started. So we're ready to start our little anime cushion today. You'll need to start with your, your cut piece for your front, which is a square, which is 41 centimetres squared. I've actually interfaced mine. And then you'll need two pieces cut for the back, because that measurement is 41 by 30 centimetres. So two of those, I have, haven't inter interfaced those, they're just for the envelope back, so we can set that one aside. And then you'll need your applique pieces. So you can see here for the main face piece, I'm actually using felt today. Normally I would probably use a fabric in a sort of a flesh tone, but I don't have that, so I'm going to be using the felt. I have added my fusible web to that piece. You'll need your little piece for the lips, your little piece for the nose, and then of course your eye layout. So you need two of each. So two of the base for the eyes, two of the whites of the eyes, two of your colour of your choice. Obviously I'm making a brunette with green eyes here. You can choose any colours at all that you like. It's really nice to be able to make a blonde with blue eyes or a redhead with green eyes. So it's really fun to mix it up. You'll need your two pupils in black and also two white buttons to add that really anime highlight and also your two pieces for uh, the eye lash section. So the first thing we're going to do is remove all these and we're going to fuse our first face piece into position on the front. So the measurement is nine centimeters from the bottom of your fabric, your cushion front to the chin. It's exactly nine centimeters and your little face piece should be centered exactly in the middle. So that will just be fused on, fused on with a hot iron and a protective cloth. So there I have my face piece fused into place there. Now I'm going to actually machine applique with a very tight zigzag stitch in the exact matching thread of the little face piece all the way around the outside of that shape. Normally, um, if you know me all, you know that I, uh, I like to use a, a buttonhole stitch and do it by hand normally with applique, but in this case I really want that section to sit really flat, so a machine zigzag will do it best. So just all the way around, as neat and as tidy as you can. You can see now that I've zigzagged that little face piece into place and it's nice and flat, I've given it a press. Now your next uh, job is to apply your lips, nose, and I'm going to show you the layout for the eye. Now the lips are set, of course, central, and the measurement is two centimetres from the very base of the chin to the bottom of the lips, and then the little nose is centred above the lips, and that measurement from the little centre point there, the little divot in the lips, that lowest point there on the nose is one and a half centimetres. It's really important to get those measurements right so that the, the look of the face is correct. Now, your little eyes are laid out, are pressed on in layers. And at this point in time, we don't fuse on the little eyelashes just yet. So we start with the first, and you'll find that that little piece is just set on a slant. Have a good look at the way I've put it on there. I'll give you a measurement for the base, from the base of this eye to the cheek, and that's around about five centimetres you can see there. All right, you need to check that you have enough room to fuse the little eyelashes in over the top when you've finished your sewing. And you can see you need just a little bit of room there. So it's just a matter of lining them up. I always fuse one eye on in its entirety first and then I can measure up and copy on the other side. So the layout is simply, and I press each of these pieces on one at a time. 
use really firm pressure because we want that to sit as flat as possible. So our eye base and then you'll find that the little whites of the eye sits on next and then the little green, green in my case, the little green iris will sit on top and the same with your little black pupil and they will get pressed on. So you can press those on one at a time and remember to leave off the eyelashes for now and you can press on the nose and the mouth into position. So there we have all of our felt pieces fused into place, of course, except for the eyelashes, which we'll put aside. Now we're going to do the sewing work, which is really what makes this cushion front look so wonderful. First of all, I'll be using a blanket applique stitch or a buttonhole stitch on most of these eye pieces. Some of these edges we do so and some of them we don't. So the stitch I'll be using, the blanket applique, is this stitch here. I have a video on my other channel, Lisa Pay, how to sew the blanket applique or buttonhole stitch. It will show you exactly how to do that one if you haven't done that one before. You could alternatively just top stitch on your machine. It's very important now that you use the right colours so that these eyes keep this look. So I will use a blanket applique stitch on the black in a black thread. I will then go ahead and use a, a more of a highlighting colour on the iris because it's really nice to be able to you know, add that little bit, another green tone there that will make that iris look really nice. So I will work that edge as well. And then I will just use an off-white for this section. At this stage, we don't treat the outside edge of that one because we're going to be adding our eyelashes and then we're actually going to be machine stitching all the way around that one. You also will need to sew a very tiny blanket applique stitch around that nose. Again it's very important that you match your thread colour to that one otherwise it will just stand out too much. I will show you what we're doing with the lips. We won't be sewing all around them. We'll be putting in a little lip line there. So you can go ahead and sew each of those portions with your whichever your preferred stitch is. There you see all of our sewing done on our eyes and our nose. Now I'm going to show you how to do the lips. Now I've just actually drawn in just very lightly, just use anything you have as a guide, just a little curve and I've just drawn in a little pen line to show me where I'm going to do my stitching. You can sew this line in on the machine if you're very clever. Um, I would rather do it by hand. I'm using two strands of embroidery cotton in a deeper tone than the lips. So no matter what colour you're doing your lips, make sure that you, you sew this lip line in in a shade that it's at least two shades darker so that we really set that mouth line back. Also the threads I've used on the eyes here, I've used extra strong upholstery thread or what we call top stitching thread. I usually use um, a Gutemann thread. I do use this thread a lot um, but the equivalent is always two strands of embroidery thread. So that's what we're going to use here. So I've just made a knot in my thread and I've just come in through the back just at the side of where my first stitch will go. So I'm going to do, do, be doing what we call a stab back stitch and it's just a classic linked back stitch to sew that little lip line in because it's nicely linked up. We can get that line nice and clear. So back again my stitches are going to be quite small just following my line, my pen line. Come back through again and then I'm going to go back into the same hole I just came out of with that first stitch. So my stitches are probably two to three millimetres and I'm just going to work that stitch all the way across and finish there. So you can see that nice little lip line sewn in there and I have now pressed on to show you that first little eyebrow and eyelash section there so you can see exactly how that sits and you'll just repeat for the other side. Again I like to put one on first, press it on, get your positioning right, you can use a ruler and match them up beautifully. 
so you can go ahead and press that other one on. So with both those little eyebrow eyelashes fused on now, just going to sew on our machine with a matching thread as close as possible to that uh, colour there. We're going to sew a single stitching line and all you're going to do is outline the eye. So we're not going to follow any of these. Here we're just going to sew completely around just inside that felt line of the eye on each side. And there we have our machine stitching line done. You see how that's just outlined that eye and it's given us that lovely effect of a little eyelid coming over the top. And I've gone ahead and I've sewn on my two little buttons for highlights for the eyes. You can see that I have offset them. You can have them offset either way, to look either way, but they must be offset, otherwise you'll look cross-eyed and we don't want that. So when you're choosing your buttons for your eyes too, if you can choose a button that sits very, very flat and even better if it's just a little bit domed on the top, that just works really well. So that's our cushion front completed and now we're going to work on our cushion back pieces. We need to create a little hemline on one side of each of your back pieces for your, for your envelope back. So you can see that what I've done is I have just pressed under just over a centimetre, pressed and then folded over and pressed again and then I've gone ahead and just stitched nice and close to that line there. So you can do that on one side of each of those back pieces. So now we can go ahead and assemble our cushion. So it's just right sides together. And we put our first envelope piece on. Just line them up at the top. And then your second one, right sides together. And it's just a matter of pinning, particularly in those two envelope openings, pin all the way around your cushion and then sew with matching thread your seam in and your seam is around about a centimetre, it's a good generous centimetre all the way around. Make sure you go back and forth on those junctions there where that envelope back starts. So there you can see I've sewn my seam all the way around and I've also gone ahead and I've just snipped those corners just so that when we turn it through we can push those corners right out and I have gone ahead and uh, sewn a zigzag, trim my seam, sewn a zigzag stitch just to seal those edges. If you have an overlocker or a serger you could do the same thing. So now we just turn it through which is always the best part. And it's just a matter of making sure that those corners are nicely pushed out and pushed through. Use something like a knitting needle if you like. I always like to make sure that I get those corners pushed right out. And then I'll give the whole cover a press and we'll pop the insert in. And there we have our completed cushion. Such a fun cushion to make, you can imagine all the colours you can use. Also that uh, little section there, the iris of the eye, you can replace any of these felts for fabrics. Just make sure that those edges are treated and for the, the little eyelash area, felt always just seems to work best. That's got the lovely envelope back and I have popped a size 15 cushion insert in there but do check your sizes because they can vary. Well, I hope you've enjoyed making this little cushion cover with me today. It's one of my favourite projects to make. If you have enjoyed it, you could give this video a thumbs up. That would be beaut. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any of our upcoming projects. We're going to be doing quite a few more cushion covers, so look forward to those. In the meantime, remember to pay it forward because everybody can. And until I see you again, it's her for me. Normally I would probably use a fabric in a sort of a flesh tone, but I don't have that, so I'm going to be using the felt. I have added my fusible web to that piece. You'll need your little piece for the lips, your little piece for the nose, and then of course your eye layout. So you need two of each. So two of the base for the eyes, two of the whites of the eyes, two of your colour, of your choice. Obviously I'm making a brunette with green eyes here. You can 
choose any colours at all that you like. It's really nice to be able to make a blonde with blue eyes or a redhead with green eyes. So it's really fun to mix it up. You'll need your two pupils in black and also two white buttons to add that really anime highlight and also your two pieces for uh, the eye lash section. So the first thing we're going to do is remove all these and we're going to fuse our first face piece into position on the front. So the measurement is nine centimeters from the bottom of your fabric, your cushion front to the chin. It's exactly nine centimeters and your little face piece should be centered exactly in the middle. So that will just be fused on, fused on with a hot iron and a protective cloth. So there I have my face piece fused into place there. Now I'm going to actually machine applique with a very tight zigzag stitch in the exact matching thread of the little face piece all the way around the outside of that shape. Normally, um, if you know me all, you know that I, uh, I like to use a, a buttonhole stitch and do it by hand normally with applique, but in this case I really want that section to sit really flat, so a machine zigzag will do it best. So just all the way around, as neat and as tidy as you can. You can see now. G'day, welcome to Pay It Forward. Today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this anime style girly cushion cover. It's a really, really fun project to make because you can make it up as a blonde, as a brunette or a redhead, whichever eye colour you like. So if you'd like to make it along with me, click on the link in the description below. You can download your free PDF pattern templates, print them out, and we can get started. So we're ready to start our little anime cushion today. You'll need to start with your, your cut piece for your front, which is a square, which is 41 centimetres squared. I've actually interfaced mine. And then you'll need two pieces cut for the back, because that measurement is 41 by 30 centimetres. So two of those, I have, haven't have inter interfaced those, they're just for the envelope back, so we can set that one aside. And then you'll need your applique pieces. So you can see here for the main face piece, I'm actually using felt today. I'll give you a measurement for the base, from the base of this eye to the cheek, and that's around about five centimetres, you can see there. All right, you need to check that you have enough room to fuse the little eyelashes in over the top when you've finished your sewing. And you can see you need just a little bit of room there. So it's just a matter of lining them up. I always fuse one eye on in its entirety first and then I can measure up and copy on the other side. So the layout is simply, and I press each of these pieces on one at a time, Use really firm pressure because we want that to sit as flat as possible. So our eye base, and then you'll find that the little whites of the eye sits on next. And then the little green, green in my case, the little green iris will sit on top. And the same with your little black pupil. And they will get pressed. Now that I've zigzagged that little face piece into place and it's nice and flat, I've given it a press. Now your next uh, job is to apply your lips, nose, and I'm going to show you the layout for the eye. Now the lips are set, of course, central, and the measurement is two centimetres from the very base of the chin to the bottom of the lips. And then the little nose is centred above the lips and that measurement from the little centre point there, the little divot in the lips, to that lowest point there on the nose is one and a half centimetres. It's really important to get those measurements right so that the, the look of the face is correct. Now, your little eyes are laid out, are pressed on in layers. And at this point in time, we don't fuse on the little eyelashes just yet. So we start with the first, and you'll find that that little piece is just set on a slant. Have a good look at the way I've put it on there. 